Welcome back to the shop. Today we are installing a uh, eye gate and uh, digipeter for LoRa APRS on this little uh, Lily Go board. So it's a really, really simple process thanks to a uh, web installer created by, uh, at least offered by the person that creates the firmware. I don't know if you created the web installer or whatnot, but uh, he, uh, he offers a very nice web installer. So basically, Take it out of the bag, and install the antenna, and uh, put on a USB cable. This is a USB, uh, this is a micro USB to a normal USB. Plug it in, and uh, you go to the page of the uh, installer, and I'll uh, show you what's going on there. You select uh, your board. Mine is uh, conveniently the first in the list, and you select the firmware version. I want the latest one, and uh, you say flash firmware. It's going to ask you for a serial port, so it's, uh, it's good to know which one it is. Uh, for me, I didn't have any serial ports before I plugged in the USB cable, so it's uh, COM3. You say connect and uh, install, and we ask it to erase and next and confirm. Let's see if we can turn this so you can see it. Uh, basically, what this does after you install the uh, firmware is it sets up its own wireless access point. So to continue uh, configuring it, you need to find it. It's called the uh, no call 10 ap and uh, you connect it. And once it connects, it says on the display, it tells you the IP you're supposed to uh, go to, which is uh, 192.168.4.1. You get this uh, nice uh, web installer where you can uh, set up uh, everything. And uh, I don't know if you can see that on the screen. No, let's proceed to uh, configure this board. Uh, we'll put in my call sign with an SSID. Uh, the beacon comments, I will put uh, uh, URL, uh, the beacon path, it's all right, uh, the beacon symbol, I will need to find my coordinates. I think uh, yeah, Google Maps should be able to tell you that. Of course, we have to reject all the uh, bullshit and uh, see if we can zoom in. Or we can just search for my call sign. Even better. And there we have it. And you uh, right click on uh, there, it will get you your coordinates. We'll get them back in uh, here. Let's see. Paste. And uh, like so. Personal notes. I don't know if we need to put that in. No. Just for testing. Next, we need to add it to a network. So I will add this to uh, my network here at home. Um, I have several, let's see. It's, uh, yep, that's sufficient. We want uh, to enable APRS IS connections and we want uh, APRS IS messages to RF. That means that anything that the APRS internet system sends us, we will uh, relay to uh, the airwaves. And uh, uh, similarly, uh, or in reverse, we will gate from uh, APRS, not as APRS objects uh, to RF. So 
basically anything uh, we get from the APRS internet system, we will relay to RF. And uh, we will also need, I will remove this filter because I don't need it. And uh, we need to uh, get our uh, APRS passcode. And the uh, simplest way of doing that is searching for APRS passcode. And uh, we get this link and we can put in our call sign. And it's going to tell us our passcode. So please don't use my passcode, use yours. And anyone can generate their own. There's really no reason to use mine. There we go. We want the beaconing. We want to send the beacon to APRSIS, the internet system, so that uh, you can find us on uh, places uh, such as uh, APRS.FI. And we also want to send beacons over RF. Uh, I think 15 minutes is the lowest interval this uh, installer will allow. Um, this, uh, these two settings, there are for modules with a built-in GPS, and this one doesn't have a built-in GPS, and it doesn't need one. We will enable uh, digipeating um, for both wide one and wide two, uh, since there's absolutely no other uh, digipeters uh, nearby. And uh, let's see, we will configure uh, LoRa. TX and LoRa RX, and this frequency is correct for Europe. And uh, we're supposed to use a spreading factor of 12, which is good. Bandwidth looks nice. Coding rate and power. This is dBm, so uh, 20 dBm, that's uh, 100 milliwatts. Uh, the display we will leave as is. A, uh, I don't see any need to send any telemetry from uh, this unit, so we'll just leave that off. Same with uh, WX. Um, you can connect a temperature humidity sensor uh, if that's uh, your thing. This is a it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, if you have a syslog server somewhere in your network, you can enter its IP address and its port number. Um, if you have a Linux machine in your network, that's uh, probably something you already have uh, access to you just need to configure it to accept log messages over the network if uh, you all you have is a windows machine then first of all my condolences um, but uh, second of all you can download and install uh, a syslog server for windows as well so um, uh, it's cool to see because it will log everything it does that uh, it will log uh, packages it uh, receives and uh, what it sends and whatnot so it's a good idea if you uh, if you have it I'm not gonna set it up right now you can also uh, enable the uh, TNC which is a cool thing because that means you can connect to this uh, with the uh, software um, over um, TCP IP and that you can use it to send the uh, packages from other software not just uh, what's uh, uh, included. I'm not going to do that as of now because you can always go back to this interface later on and you can change uh, settings. Uh, reboot time we don't want. A, uh, if you want to change the fantastically secure uh, password that's used for setting this up if it doesn't connect to the network you can you can set a good password here. Um, you can set a password for over-the-air uh, updates and you can set a password for the admin interface. Uh, my uh, network here is fairly secure, so I don't really care. You can set an offset from GMT. I'm just going to leave that at uh, zero because I don't want to update this value every time someone decides to go in and out of daylight savings time. Um, yeah, I think the experimental features will just leave. That's uh, basically it. So we press uh, save. And there we have it. It's uh, all set up. With, uh, that should be uh, what's uh, required. Now it's time to uh, connect this thing, this little thing, to the uh, X50 uh, antenna on my roof and uh, see how this works. So in the next video we will install the tracker, which is a module that's a little bit bigger than this one because it also has a GPS and a battery holder on it. So uh, if you want to see that, you can uh, subscribe. Um, if you like this video, you can press uh, like. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section. 
Until next time, 7-3.